Okay, people, I think it's safe to say it's official that the next big hit, the next big Shonen Jump anime is here. Now, y'all know uh, a manga could be successful, right? A manga could be selling very well and all of that jazz, but it's usually not until the anime comes that it reaches that next plateau. Obviously, there's some exceptions to the rule. There's the kingdoms of the world and all that stuff, but majority of the time, especially with Shonen Jump titles, they need that anime to reach the, the, the next tier of success and mainstream appeal or, or mainstream success for that matter in order to, to be that thing, that next big hit and Jujutsu Kaisen after episode one baby it just dropped yesterday and oh my gosh Yuji Itadori on that next level Sukuna Fushiguro Megami like woo episode one and of course Gojo baby all Jujutsu Kaisen fans were flabbergasted and excited as motherfucker to see right in the beginning baby we starting off with the Kakashi of the series some people would argue better than Kakashi I don't know I don't know but the first episode of the Jujutsu Kaisen anime has finally arrived, animated by MAPPA Studios, and yeah, I I'm really, really excited, baby. It's a long time coming. I've been trying to tell you about Jujutsu Kaisen since last 2019's summer, and, and it's here, the, the first episode. So without further ado, people, let's talk about some Jujutsu Kaisen. Is it too premature to throw the greatness in there? I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But either way, some amazingness from this first episode. Let's do it. I say we can do what we do no matter how you move, make your move. That's how it be though. So the long awaited anime has finally arrived, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 1. And it starts off and if memory serves me correctly, maybe I'm off with this, but I don't really remember it being uh, in, in the manga the first chapter opening up with Gojo having Yuji tied up. I think that was them changing things around just a little bit to get people a little more excited but that scene alone starting off whether it was in the manga like that originally or not was like okay what, what, what are we doing here we torturing somebody five seconds into the episode what's going on here because you got gojo dude with the blindfold around his eyes or whatever and the main character yuji is tied up there you have like all these talismans i think that's what they call those like these seals all over the walls and it's just like what the hell is going on you know something terrible has happened but it, it was one of those things so okay let's get people engaged let's get people excited let's get people like hey what the hell is going on here so that that definitely already did the trick early into the episode very early they were like how do we get people to really care without making it to the 10 or 15 minute mark boom you, you got me then we jump into the opening now i've heard some people say that they don't really care for the opening song per se um i think that's out, out of the opening because we're going to talk about the visuals in a second my god we're going to talk about those visuals but the the song it starts off a little bit weird the way they did the mixing of it but then later on the song i like it like I, i'll tell you right now as a whole i like the song it gets better like maybe 20 seconds into it 30 seconds it just changes completely into like a really dope song but the visuals i was just like Yo, you could tell Mappa went all out. Shueisha put, pressed the button on them with the budget because it was like a movie. Like, literally the visuals, like, don't get me wrong. All anime usually have, like, very, very high quality visuals for the opening. It's like the, the night and day if you look at it from that to, like, it's anime episodes and stuff like that. Like, the opening is usually really awesome. But the visuals for this opening were breath taking from the scenes of seeing Sukuna, of Yuji, Megami, every fucking character, every visual there was just amazing, high quality, beautiful, gorgeous, I, I can't get enough of like, that is an opening that people are gonna look back and say, wow Mappa, wow, y'all know what y'all doing, so if you're asking my opinion on the opening, I love it, and this is one of those things where uh, the, the song is like, it's okay, it's a good song, I enjoy it, again, like I said, it picks up like 20, 30 seconds into it, but the visuals just Woo, baby like man mappa mappa is mappa the new madhouse right now is that what we're doing here like mappa really like yo so then we kick into the episode we start getting a little bit of characterization and what's going on here the plot and whatnot we got yuji itadori and he has a sick grandfather that's in the hospital so you already got a little bit of struggle here a little bit of conflict of what the character is going through which it's kind of like especially in this climate it was a little bit awkward for me to watch because i was just kind of like oh it just kind of felt hard to watch i guess to a certain degree but again it's anime so you kind of use that escapism to not think about shit and um it, it, it gives you again like okay this character isn't in the best standing per se in his life right now right like he has a dying grandfather and shit is bad and then we find out that yuji is a part of the occult club with 
which if you think about the premise of the story with curses and shit like that it's like it's kind of funny but also that reminded me and i don't know how many people will agree but kind of reminded me of like mob where mob is a part of it from mob psycho 100 mob is like a part of this uh club where they're like i think it's telekinesis and psychic abilities and shit like that if i'm not mistaken but then like the track team wants him to join it was like very similar where they were trying to get him out of the occult club and we find out that that one teacher signed him up instead for the uh gymnastics team or the track team or some shit like that very very reminiscent of mob for me it gave me those mob psycho 100 vibes of like you know that little conflict or whatever but it was funny it was cool uh dope to see that ug like it's already giving you a little bit of exposition on his character and why he's going to be capable of going on to this fantastical insane journey that he's about to embark on because it's like yo he's really really athletic that was one of the things that if you notice keeps getting pointed out throughout the episode like nah ug is really really dope he could run like 50 meters in three seconds like some really really crazy shit so it shows you he's special he's not the ordinary person there's more to him like yeah he's an average student per se like you know in society's eyes but in terms of athleticism he is that dude so again going forward is not just like a regular normal joe that is just jumping into a journey like this dude is special then we got fushiguro who is part of this organization and he's hunting down this cursed object he's looking around apparently his clues have led him to this school and he's looking for it and he goes to this box and it's not there he's basically looking for this finger this cursed finger that is a part of a bigger problem that they're facing right now and you see him like he's hunting down yuji and if you notice there's a couple different times where it's kind of unclear to a certain degree like the one point where yuji's like uh, i want to say in the track meet or some shit like that and he passes fushiguro and like there's this big vibe thing there like fushiguro gets like kind of scared for a second there but at that time you're wondering like yo is it the finger because obviously if he had the finger on him it would have been you know like that would have been the reason why he would have felt that but then you find out later on in the episode that he just had the box the finger was with you know uh, his senpai so to speak the other person from the occult club so makes you wonder you add to all of his physical capabilities then on top of that that feeling that fushiguro had dude is a very very special guy then throughout the episode you get the passing of yuji's grandfather but before that he gives a speech which makes you really wonder about what was he trying to say like overall it's a very valuable lesson and he tells Yuji like yo you see I'm dying here alone I want you when you die to be surrounded by people that care about you save as many people as you can even if it's a thankless job if they don't thank you just keep on saving even if you can only save the people closest to you save people so very very interesting setup kind of giving more morale and, and morals to Yuji to install into him because you think about it if somebody's dying and their last words is telling you some shit like that that's gonna really stick so it was interesting and sad in the end like they didn't over dramatize it or they didn't make it like oh Yuji's breaking down screaming but he was crying so kind of shows that he's a little bit more of a tough cookie like another character probably would have been bawling his eyes out he was just you know he was crying but he wasn't like screaming or anything like that so definitely an interesting way though to start an episode with like an older relative passing and telling him that so more of a setup and foreshadowing for the future of Jujutsu Kaisen then we get to a point where Fushiguro approaches Yuji he's like yo fam I need that cursed object and now like that some bad shit will happen if you don't give it to me Yuji gives him the box the finger ain't there obviously one of the occult members has it so right there that's like the start of the big action pieces because following that they go over to the school to retrieve it because shit bad shit is gonna happen they're trying to remove the the seal from the finger because curses exist in this world and he tries to break it down a little bit to yuji who is apprehensive at first of like what are you telling me fam like you telling me some mumbo jumbo shit like yeah i'm a part of the occult club fam but we we, we just plain pretend fam this shit ain't real but oh yeah it's real yuji it, and you're about to find out because they go to the school and you see that these cursed monsters are attacking everyone in the school trying to gobble down the occult members of, of the club and shit like that and it's just bonkers we get a little introduction into fushiguro and his powers uh apparently he has like these it's called shikigami and you see like these dogs show up and they fight for him it's kind of like I don't want to say Pokemon, but you, you've probably seen this in plenty of anime like Blue Exorcist and shit like that, which I've said this in my very first manga video that I made about this over a year ago now. This gives you a lot of the vibes of like a Blue Exorcist meets Bleach to a certain degree with less of the Bleach and more of like Blue Exorcist. That's definitely a vibe you will get from this anime um, in this episode and moving forward, you will see more and more of how it feels that way. But yeah, it, it has a dark and gritty vibe. And then when shit kicks off with the monsters and Yuji flying through the wind those showcasing more of his athleticism fighting the curses and shit like that it is just bananas the art and animation that's why i said earlier in this episode that mappa 
they're looking like they could be the new madhouse i mean if you've seen historically throughout 2020 alone what they've been dropping the animation quality has just been phenomenal like they have very talented people working on this stuff and the the scene alone of yuji again crashing through the window the 360 camera angles and shit like they are going full throttle but then it gets to a point where basically uh fushiguro was about to get bodied the, the monster is about to eat him and yo yuji's like well okay if i eat the finger then i'll be able to uh fight curses because the only way you could beat a curse is with a curse so he eats the sukuna finger and goes bonkers it seems as though the the demon or the or the curse sealed monster whatever that you want to call it within the finger has taken control of yuji and within the second or two which showcases the vast difference from what this monster is compared to fushiguro fushiguro is trying to fight that monster and you know him and shikigami were getting thrashed everywhere and shit like that this dude in seconds obliterates that curse monster right then and there and it's like holy shit he starts laughing saying oh my god the 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 light from being outside i can't believe it and oh the visuals was great all of that shit was great ending on a cliffhanger with fushiguro they're like what the fuck as yuji is completely taken over by seemingly sukuna the finger that he swallowed and man for a first episode this was incredible this is insane i think that this could potentially fill the void that demon slayer left behind like demon slayer y'all know is out of this world with sales and success and shit like that and this having that same vibe obviously it's curses not demons but it's a similar vibe i guess you could say the best way to put it of like you know monsters demons and shit like that and woo, action-packed art and animation check story really dope characters really dope so far uh the villain or the threat whatever you want to call it insane and we just got a little taste of it and everything like this was a, a an incredible way to open up an anime and whew, well, i think we're confirmed 24 episodes jujutsu kaisen's anime it's here baby and whew, this is probably the next big thing now that i've seen this episode i i can kind of safely say like map up just they they did it they brought it to the table baby but i'm very curious what a lot of you guys thought about jujutsu kaisen episode one how did you feel about it what do you think about the plot the visuals what was your who was your favorite character up until this point what do you think about what the grandfather said uh before passing what he told to yuji and your thoughts and expectations for the future of jujutsu kaisen's anime is this the next big thing the next big anime from shonen jump personally i see like yeah uh there's a few other series that might come down the road but as it stands right now it looks like jujutsu kaisen is about to rule yeah map up ah and your overall thoughts and expectations for jujutsu kaisen with episode two and beyond this shit was it was gas baby it was gas but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram hit that bell to get all notifications and if you want to follow any of my other social media links in the description below i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga for life boy have an awesome day peace in and I highly recommend check out Jujutsu Kaisen. As of the recording of this video, there's one episode out, and that episode is straight fucking flames. Have an awesome one. It's nights like this, and times like this, What's that? that I can give another hit. But I've got this inside a switch, a natural bliss, but that I miss. Yeah.